Today on Clothed in Glory. Hey y'all, today we're going to be doing a DIY project, and for this project you are going to need one canvas. This is a wooden canvas, and it's an 8x8. Also, about the canvas, it is a more textured top canvas, so if you don't want it to be like a blurred line effect and you want fine straight lines, then definitely get a smooth surface one. I have black paint from Walmart and also a um, craft sponge brush thing. You can use a paintbrush if you have one on hand, doesn't really matter as long as it spreads the paint evenly. I have blue masking tape for this and also I printed out a coloring page of New York State. So I'm going to be doing um, New York State decal on this. So I'm not going to cut out the eyes or anything, but it was the only one that had nice smooth outline for the state. I also picked up a page of glitter paper at Joanne Fabrics for like $1.50. So this is peel and stick paper and it makes it a lot easier for this project. You're going to start with taping your canvas and make sure that you try your best to get the lines even and straight. If you don't, you can just take it off like I did. I messed up a little bit and realign it. So it's not that big of a deal. It doesn't need to look perfect, but I like to have nice evenly separated lines. And I found a trick for making sure that they're evenly separated. I ended up just putting the tape down almost like I was going to be covering the whole canvas. And then I kind of eyed where it ended and put the start point at that place if that makes any sense. So I made sure that I kind of measured out in between the lines of the same width as the tape. So just keep taping and after we're done we'll start painting. Now I'm going to start with the paint. I ended up just putting a little on a piece of cardboard um, on the side of my table so I could have a little bit of a palette to scoop up and then paint with. And I got smarter later on. I actually started squeezing the paint directly on the canvas, which was a lot easier. But just make sure that it evenly covers it. Because this is a wooden canvas that's more textured, like I said, it has more bumps and grooves. So it was a little bit more difficult to get full coverage and make sure there was no white coming through. So you might have to kind of fuss with it a little bit and make sure that you have it all covered because I'm not going to be doing two coats because I'm going to take the paint off while it's still wet so that it doesn't tear any paint off or anything. So make sure you get a bunch of paint on there nice and even and smooth lines. Now that we're done painting, you can go ahead and start taking off the tape. This was kind of a surprise for me because I was expecting nice smooth straight lines and I ended up getting a little bit of like um, blurry lines, but I really liked that effect. I didn't know that was going to happen. So when I took off the tape, it was kind of the moment of truth where I was like, uh oh, it's kind of, you know, 
going outside the lines, but I really like that because it gives it a kind of imperfect look to it. So I like that it was blurred lines instead of just straight, but if you want straight lines, be sure to get a smooth surfaced canvas, not a textured one like I did. So here's what the canvas looks like after I took all the tape off. It's still wet, so I'm not going to be handling it too much right yet. And now it is time to start with the glittered New York State. So I'm going to take my glitter paper out of the package. And I did not know this was peel and stick. Thank God it was because I thought I would just glue it down or something. But it was actually peel and stick. Nice one, Joanne Fabrics. So it's a really intense piece of paper. It's nice quality, really thick. So... That be good for this project. Now I'm gonna take my crazy New York state and cut out the outline of the state out of the paper. So like I said, we're not gonna be messing with all the eyes and everything, but I had kind of a hard time finding a New York state outline. So I ended up typing in New York state coloring page and I wanted something where the outline of the state wasn't too um, like descriptive. It wasn't too like zigzaggy. I wanted just like a, as much of a straight smooth line as I possibly could find so I found this guy he's got crazy eyes but it's all right so now that it's all cut out I'm going to lay it onto a corner of the glitter paper and um, then I'm going to cut out a section of the glitter paper so that I have a rectangle just around the state itself so I don't have to work with the whole big eight and a half by eleven sheet and it makes it a lot easier when you go to cut it out so now I'm just going to put the state on the paper and start cutting. Woot woot. Ta-da! It looks so cute. So now it's a New York State gold glittery decal thing for the canvas. And I will come back when the canvas is dry and we will apply the decal. I'm back, the canvas is dry, and now it is time to put the New York State onto the blurred line canvas. I'm getting really intense with my narration, but you know, whatever. So I'm going to take the back off after I kind of eye it and make sure I know where I want to put it. Um, peel off the back and then stick it as close to the middle as you possibly can, unless you want it on one side, that's fine too. But I'm about this life right here, so I'm going to Put that in the middle and make sure, guys, before you actually put it down, that it's where you want it because there's no getting this off. And that is it. This is the finished product of my Blurred Lines State Pride canvas. And check back for more room details because you'll be seeing this going up on my wall very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.